Okay, hi there, welcome to a micro video. Uh, this one looks at movements along a production possibility curve. Well, a PPC is used to illustrate the concept of opportunity costs, trade-offs, and also show the effects of economic growth. So in this short revision video, we'll explore the causes of movements along a production possibility curve. So what is a production possibility curve? Well, it's basically a frontier. A diagram is showing the maximum possible output combinations of two goods uh, that a country or producer can achieve when all of the available resources are fully and efficiently employed. In this case, we'll look at the output of wheat on the y-axis and the production of beef on the x-axis. Well, consider a country that's producing wheat and beef. They've got land, labor, capital and enterprise available to generate an output of each. Uh, when scarce resources are reallocated away from one product to another, this involves an opportunity cost. So, for example, on the diagram, if we move away from point A down the production possibility curve to point B, in other words, we increase the output of beef by moving from A to B, then there is an opportunity cost in terms of lost output of wheat. The opportunity cost is the lost output of wheat uh, caused, given up when we gain an output of beef. So let's put some numbers on this just to make this a little clearer. Let's say that we increase our output of beef from 80 to 90. That involves giving up 60 units of wheat. So we're having to give up six units of wheat for each extra unit of beef. Now, the curve is drawn as concave to the origin because of the assumption of the law of diminishing returns. That is that uh, resources used in producing wheat are not necessarily as productive you know, or as efficient, if you like, as producing um, beef. So therefore, uh, the opportunity cost increases as we move down the production possibility curve. So let's we say we move from B to C. We gain five extra units of beef. We go from 90 so 95, but we have to sacrifice 70 units of wheat. So therefore, the opportunity cost now is 70 given up for five extra. That's 14 units of wheat for each unit of beef. So the gradient of that PPC is becoming much steeper, showing an increasing opportunity cost. Moving the other way, if we move from C to B to A or points to the left of that, uh, the same effect of increasing opportunity cost will be seen if we reallocate resources away from beef towards wheat production. So the PPC, Production Possibility Curve, is usually uh, depicted as an arc uh, with one commodity on the x-axis and one on, on the y-axis. Each point on the arc on the PPC shows the most efficient output quantity of the two commodities that can be produced using av available resources. The shape of the PPF is commonly drawn as a concave to the origin. That is because of the law of diminishing returns. And the basic reason is that some resources used in making wheat are not as well suited to making beef and vice versa. So if the productivity, if you like, the marginal productivity of resources is declining, then the opportunity cost will go up. If, by the way, the marginal opportunity cost was constant, between wheat and beef, then we draw the production possibility frontier, if you like, as a straight line. The marginal opportunity cost would be exactly the same. So there we go, a quick revision on movements along a production possibility curve.